This video today will look at some of the basic calculations involved uh, with prescriptions that you will see in the community setting. Now, this video will take a look at two examples of some very basic calculations um, that will involve some of the um, material covered in the video on common abbreviations in pharmacy. Both of these examples will deal with antibiotics and they deal with um, situations in which the prescriber has left it up to the pharmacist to decide how much of a medication needs to be dispensed. So if we look at example one, we want to find the total number of tablets needed for this course of therapy. This patient is receiving Bactrim DS, that's Bactrim double strength, which is 800 milligrams of sulfamethoxazole and 160 milligrams of trimethoprone. The patient is to take one tablet by mouth, BID for 10 days. The QS, remember, means quantity sufficient. There are no refills, and it's written by Dr. Tom Jones. Now we have to go through and see what these abbreviations stand for, okay? This symbol here that looks like um, a lower uh, a lowercase uh, i, a Roman numeral with a horizontal line separating the, the uh, main part of the i from the dot. Um, this is a way that prescribers typically write um, the number one. In this case it means one tablet. PO, remember, means by mouth. BID, remember BID means twice a day. Okay, for 10 days. And quantity sufficient means to dispense a quantity sufficient for the course of therapy. And this is a very simple example, but it's an example actually that I saw a couple times uh, last week. And it's very simple math, but the prescriber has left it up for the pharmacist to do. In this case, the patient is taking one tablet twice a day. Okay, so one tablet, right, twice a day or two times a day. Okay, when we multiply that out, we get two tablets two tablets per day. Okay. And we're going to multiply that by 10 days. So we'll multiply that by 10. Put a D for days. We multiply that out, we get 20 tablets. And again, the uh, the math behind this uh, honestly could not be any easier. I mean, that's all you need to figure out. So for your quantity sufficient, you're dispensing uh, 20 tablets. Okay. Now, it's easy to get mixed up. When you see the BID in the 10 days, you automatically want to multiply that and say, oh, I need 20 tablets. But don't forget, you have a multiplier out here as well. Had this said two tablets twice a day, you would have to have multiplied this 20 uh, by 2, and you would have gotten 40 tablets uh, that you needed to dispense. Let's take a look at another example. This is a pediatric example. Here we have a child taking amoxicillin 400 milligrams per 5 ml. The child's taking one teaspoon POTID by seven days, and again, we need to figure up how much we need. Okay, QS remembers quantity sufficient. There are no refills, and the prescription is written by Dr. Tom Jones. Now, when you look at this prescription, we see that the drug strength, which is commercially available, is written in milliliters and the directions are written in teaspoons. So there is a conversion that you need to know uh, that relates milliliters to teaspoons. 
and as it turns out there's five milliliters in one teaspoon so we can substitute the one teaspoon for five milliliters so we're taking five milliliters three times a day so five milliliters three times a day would be 15 milliliters a day. Remember TID is three times a day. So five milliliters three times a day is, sorry you can't see that, is um, 15 milliliters per day and we multiply that out. Okay, we're just multiplying the five milliliters three times a day. But this is not a single course of therapy. There are seven days. So we have to multiply this by seven days. Okay. And when you do this, you get 105 mLs. Now this is a common situation that you'll see where you need just a little bit more than what's commercially available. Now there might be a bottle that comes in 100 mLs and another bottle that comes in 150 mLs. Unfortunately, you have to dispense a bottle that's commercially available because that's the most practical thing to do. In this case, a 150 mL bottle is what you have to dispense. Um, if you dispense 100 uh, milliliters, it's not going to be enough to get the child through. Sometimes what you'll see, um, in fact most of the time, you'll actually see the prescriber write for a total, uh, total dosage amount for the entire course that equals the volume available commercially. So sometimes you'll see instead of seven days um, you'll see 10 days. Okay, and if we multiply this out 10 days instead, we now get 150 milliliters. Just take the 5 times 3 times a day is 15 milliliters a day, times 10 days is 150 milliliters. And it turns out that is a strength that is available commercially. Again, if you have any questions with um, these examples or if you would like to see other examples, feel free to leave um, comments or you can always uh, drop me an email. And if you need to ever drop me an email, you can do so at uh, TD Souders at gmail.com and feel free to email me if you have any questions. Thanks.